What's up, guys? Dinebot here, and welcome back to day eight of Favorite Places Fly World Tour 2022 in Australia. Today, we're taking off from Perth. Your airport code is YPPH. As you can see on the map here, there is no shortage of things to see in Perth. And in fact, you have this island out here with two lighthouse on it. I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that one. Uh, yeah, a lot to see. Let's, uh, let's get going here. So this is the capital and largest city of the state of Western Australia. Very creatively named there, Australia. I see what you did. Uh, population of 2.1 million living in the Greater Perth area as of 2020. So big, big city. Founded by Captain James Sterling in 1829 as the administrative center of the Swan River Colony. It is most certainly not snowing in Perth right now. Let's just go ahead and turn live weather off. Roll it back a little bit. May have rolled it back too far. Now let's TBM. It'll take itself off while we adjust everything. There we go. So as we take our takeoff roll here. And I didn't even rotate. The TBM simply flies itself. One of my favorite planes. Absolutely love it. You guys should all check out the TBM 930. It is a pleasure to fly. There we go. As you can see, we have taken off southbound. A fair amount of traffic around here, actually. So, what we want to do, we're going to turn westward. And you will see the city stretched out before us. Now, as I said, this is a large city. 2.1 million people divided into 30 local government areas with more than 350 suburbs. This is comparable to any large city that you, my mostly American viewers, yes, I see the demographics, would be familiar with. Lovely moon up there in the sky today. But absolutely beautiful view. Fun fact, the colony name was actually selected in recognition of Perth, Scotland, which was the birthplace of the Secretary of State for War and the Colonies and member for Perthshire in the British House of Commons, Sir George Murray. Ah, colonialism. One thing that I absolutely love about Australia is the way that they cities embrace the rivers. Also, quite a lovely bridge down there. But you have many of the cities, Sydney included, built around these waterways and just really striking architectural features around them. We have another gorgeous bridge coming up here on our left by Central Park down here. A little bit of sim lag there and just some striking architecture now if you guys want to head out to those that island with the multiple lighthouses that is certainly doable it won't be that long of a trick in a trip in a plane like the tbm you can see that it is not that far off the coast if i angle us a little bit more to the north we'll be on our way so we are over Matilda Bay right now. And I love flying over coastal towns because you have this neat interplay of the city and the water and you know how humanity has worked around building infrastructure in and around and over those waterways. As you can see, there's the island, about 13 nautical miles off the coast. So that's a pretty quick flight, especially if you uh, do what I did and stay at full throttle. Don't forget to throttle back to cruising speed because Dinebot doesn't pay attention to things. Yeah, not, not a lot to say about Perth historically because I tend not to get into the colonialism on this channel and a lot of Perth's history is going to revolve around, well... Colonialism, isn't that just lovely? But 
Beautiful city, beautiful beaches, beautiful place to fly. I would highly, highly recommend you guys come come have a look. As you can see here, we've got nothing but the beautiful blue out the cockpit as we come back around. There is the land. Just an amazing, amazing view. So, take your favorite plane. Maybe, hey, take something with uh, floats on it if you want to land in the bay and just chill out. But beautiful place to fly beautiful place to just hang out and sightsee so highly recommend if you guys like the video enjoyed it hey like subscribe it really helps the channel out. and if you're here till the end you know watch time is key on youtube so thank you very very much my name is dinebot and i will see you guys next time